Okay, um, well, done a few improvements to this. Um, I forget what the username, the channel name was, but one of the YouTube videos I watched, he has done this driver and he's done a few different things to it, like adding this diode and this diode, not this cap, but I just put that there, doesn't really do anything, I was just experimenting, and this resistor, so those diodes are both their negative sides, each one, each positive side's connected together, like a little triangle, and then the negative sides are going to the feedback wires, both, and then that goes through a 25 ohm resistor to negative. I've halved the resistance to each, um, the gate or base and I get no transistor heat. I mean, I am using a pretty cool cooling system. I just made this up. It's two separate heat sinks onto a little fan. It's got, it looks like a little microwave motor, except it runs off 24 volts. 15 volts going into it. The whole driver is only running on 15 volts. And I get some pretty nice outputs. Turn it on now. So yeah, Flyback's really warm, transistors are literally stone cold, there is no heat whatsoever. Um, as you can see I've got two of two matching transistors because they died. I had this set up, it was running cold, I ran it on 40 volts and instantly it just didn't work so I'm a bit too scared to go up to 40 volts again because I do not want to wreck it but next up I'll be trying this secondary so we'll give this a try now alrighty got this flyback all set up now so this is the one that I've gotten out of that TV there and um, we'll, we'll test how the arts
Oh, yeah. It's incredible. It's not warm. It's not nothing. It's well, it's cold. But um, yeah. The flyback's a bit warm. The windings are a bit warmer. But yeah, that little extra bit, I'll add it to my schematic and I'll put it up on the end of this video because I really do suggest anybody that tries this circuit to try that because... Okay, um, I am going to try it on a higher voltage. I've got that resistor there, it's like 2 ohms or something. But I'm going to try it on 40 volts and hope that it doesn't blow up. And if it does, at least I got it on video. So, here you go. 3, 2, 1. Oh dear. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Well, it works, which is really good. And I'll feel how hot it's gotten. Oh, it's a tiny bit warm. It's not that bad. I'll probably have to get rid of the resistance there just to tame it a bit. But that was actually not bad at all. So, yeah. Um. That last bit where it got stuck and started burning my chicken stick, that was really hot. I could feel that on my face and my arms and everything. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. So, yeah, try that because it stops it from overheating and it makes the arcs much bigger. Yeah, thanks for watching. Okay, just realised I didn't get the arcs in the video. So, here goes. And the fan's not working because... Well, stupid me, I wasn't thinking, and it only is meant to run off 25 volts, not 40, so it got really hot and smoky, but anyways, here goes. Okay, it's on. So, yeah, I'd say that is not bad at all. Yeah, they're a bit warm, but, yeah, they're nothing too bad. So, thanks for watching. Okay, one more quick video before my battery runs flat. I got rid of that resistor, and it's letting, obviously, it's letting much more current through, and the arcs are huge. Here we go. Yeah, it's on. Pretty awesome. Thanks for watching, and the clip, the lead came off. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching.